Beautiful scenes of Yorkshire then all around us. I'm at John Quinn's yard. I've came to ride out this morning. Princess Palace uh, was who I sat on. Well, I tried anyway. Didn't fall off. That's a bonus. And I'm going to look forward to having some interviews with John Quinn and, of course, his son, who's his assistant, Sean, who regularly joins us on William Hill TV. And fingers crossed they're going to give us some handy tidbits for the season ahead. You've had some really good times this in Yorker Ballet, our yeah. land, our astronaut actually. How do you think the season went as a whole? Uh, last year was very, very pleasing. Um, I mean, they were the, they were the flag bearers, but they, um, the filly was wonderful and he, and he was very good, you know. Sin Yorker Ballet won a couple of Group 2s then, what was that like? That was wonderful, wonderful to win at Royal Ascot. And then she went down to France and won the Papin and then she was second in the, the morning, which was a wonderful run. El astronaut ran really well first time at... Musselburgh, I finished second, and he ran he ran well in the Palace House on Saturday. He was only beaten three and a half lengths. I don't know his new market, his ideal, ideal track, but it was a very good race, and I'm sure there'll be a lot easier to come. He's in at York, uh, uh, the Duke of York, and we'll consider that. How many horses have we got to go forward with this year? Uh, we'll have 65 for the flat. So the likes of, obviously, we said, Signor Cabello and El Astronaut, you know, those real nice horses, what would they do a couple of days before up to the race? We just keep them ticking over, really. They'll do no serious galloping at all. Um, because they'll, their last serious bit of work would have been probably a week before. They're not fit two days before. It's a bit late. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, too little, too late. You've yeah. had horses, obviously, uh, owned by J.P. McManus and Al Shakab Racing. Have any of those owners got anything with you at the yes, moment? Yes, yes. Um, we've got Project Blue Book, uh, belong to Mr. McManus, and it, I put him in the Swinton on Saturday. And Al Shakab have a, um, a call by the wow signal that we had here, so we're delighted to have horses for, for both. Yeah, I'd imagine so. And of course, John said he's got 65 horses. How many of those are two-year-olds? About 30. So plenty. Plenty, yeah. <laughs> plenty, yeah. yeah. I'm here with Sean Quinn. I made a good effort at just riding out Princess at Palliser. I'm going to wait for the jock up for the season on the five that Sean has for us to follow. Yeah, I'll uh, put you up on them quite happily any time, Leona. Um, horses to follow for the season. El Astronaut will win a good sprint this season. Another sprinter that we like a lot, um, Lord Ridderford. Uh, he'll win a, a good handicap, I'd hope. It'd be nice if Signora Cabello could win another group race. Um, there's three. I better mention one of my mother's horses, else she'd kill me. Ascot Week is probably not too far away from winning a race. He's no stable star, but he's ready to win. And um, one, I'll give you a two-year-old, a filly called Keep Busy ran well last week. Okay. I'd hope she'd be winning a maiden before too long. Okay, so keep a lookout for Keep Busy, and I'll wait for the jock up.